Uh, Zach, nice at this time of year maybe to get a 26-minute night in and watch your teammates perform the way they did? Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, I think the goal every game is for me to play 26 minutes in a game like this. But um, uh, credit to Rutgers. They're a good team. Um, their, their defense is kind of – they have a really, really good defense. might not look like it today, but they have a really, really good defense. Um, credit to them. Uh, Zach, was it just a matter of shutting off the offensive glass there early in the game uh, before you guys could take off? Yeah, um, I think kind of early in the game we were helping them a little bit. We were giving them those transition points. We were giving them those offensive rebounds. Uh, we really needed to lock in on that. And then we, once we kind of did, um, we kind of saw our half court defense kind of uh, get set and uh, get stops. And I think we had like to close out that half. I don't, I think they, I don't even think they scored ten points in the last like kind of half of that first. So um, just kind of shows what type of team we are in the half court defense. Cam, 17 points, perfect from the field. Did you feel this explosion coming? Maybe not this game, but did you feel like you were getting close just to do a couple looks? And then what happened out there to get you going early? Um, yeah, you know, I've been working a lot with Sasha and PJ. Um, you know, they just kind of give me the confidence um, off the court and just when we're practicing and stuff. And then obviously the guy to my left is the one passing me the ball a lot. And, you know, he's on me to be ready to shoot um, and, you know, hopefully get his assist numbers up. So, um, you know, when you have teammates around you who just give you confidence, it's it's a lot easier to play. Uh, Braden and Zach, just what did it mean for you to see what Cam did tonight, and how much of a lift can that be as you get a little bit deeper into the season? Yeah, um, we none of us are surprised by it. We all know kind of the work he puts in. We know what type of talent he has. Um, none of us are surprised by what he, he did today. I've been saying it all year. I mean, I think we have twenty starters. I mean. Whatever it is, everybody can play. So, I mean, it just – and it shows you. I mean, it's everybody's – everybody has their night. Um, Cam shot the crap out of it. So, feed the hot hand, I guess. Cam, uh, I think the season opener you had 13, and then you haven't hit double figures since. And some of those games you haven't played a whole lot, if, if at all. What's it been like to kind of wait – for a moment like tonight and just be patient and know your time was going to come? Um, Coach Lusk tells me almost every day, you know, just keep plugging away, keep going at it. Um, when I'm going up watching film, whether it's me playing four minutes, ten minutes, whatever it is, um, you know, Bloom, Lusk, those guys just tell me, you know, stay patient, stay ready, um, because eventually, you know, I'm going to have nights like tonight where, you know, I play well and um, I just got to be ready for the teammates around me to, you know, when they give me the ball to make the right play. Zach, you guys have now outscored opponents by 64 after losses. Um, where do you think that comes from for your team? I think that's just our, our team's maturity <coughs> level this year. We all understand um, one game doesn't define us. Um, we know who we are through a loss and through a win. It doesn't change our mentality. Um, I think when, kind of when you have a loss like that, you want to come up the next game and prove that like, we're still the same team. Nothing's changed. Um, I think we have a lot of guys that, that took that approach today. Uh, for Braden, hey, when someone like Cam's got to go in the way he did, do you, as a point guard, do you become like hyper aware of where they are or anything like that? For sure, got to get him the ball. I mean, I, I know from the start of the game just where everybody's at. I mean, sometimes the pass will go out of bounds to the stands um, or to the other team. But I mean, I try my best to get our players the ball in the right spot to be successful. So I just, through our plays and everything, I just kind of know where they're going to be and hope that they're there. And once they're there, find them and they'll knock down the shot. Hey, Cam, um, you're sitting between two Naismith finalists, two of the best in the game. I mean, you've got a lot of great teammates, but what's it like playing with these two guys next to you, the two of the best? Um, you know, I, I'm not afraid to say it. You know, it's a left me, I, in my opinion, um, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other people feel the same way. He's the best point guard in the country. And then, obviously, Zach's the best player in the country. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a good feeling just playing around them. And um, knowing that these guys trust me means a lot, too, because um, obviously I, I'm not always getting the opportunity, but just when I go out there for them to give me the confidence is a big thing. Braden, you've got, uh, you know, not in here is Miles Colvin, who is capable of having games like Cam just had. Um, when you get into the tournament, how valuable is it to have those guys who maybe aren't highlighted on a scouting report that can come in and do exactly what, exactly what Cam did tonight? Yeah, it's super important. Um, kind of just like I said, like everybody can come in and make plays. I mean, that's why they're here. Um, they wouldn't be on the top team in the country for no reason, you know? So they can all make plays, and we all trust them to make plays. Hey, Cam, when you're riding a game like that and you get the ball in the wing, how do you just not fire, you know? Um, you made a couple of good decisions taking the ball to the basket on the wing. and 
obviously made some plays that mm -hmm. way too. Do you have to kind of stay kind of relaxed and make the right decision too in situations like that? Yeah, uh, the coaches just talk a lot about just being ready to shoot um, and just playing off your shot fake. So a lot of the times when I got it on the wing, um, you know, I was just thinking shoot the ball right away and then seeing that the defender kind of closed out you know, a little bit too hard. Um, I was able to kind of make a play after that and just kind of read us what what the defense is doing. Uh, Zach, um, you guys are now 38 of 40 from from the line the last two games, and I mean you're such a big part of that. Um, is that something you, you felt like was coming, and and was it you know frustrating when those struggles have popped up? Yeah, uh, I, I'm not afraid to say I struggled for a while there from the free throw line, um, but I've confidence myself. I know what type of work I put in. I, everyone else on the team feels the same way. Like we had a few bad shooting nights from the free throw line. People thought we couldn't shoot free throws, but uh, we we have a really good team, uh, really balanced team from everywhere, uh, line from the field from three. Um, everyone is confident in their ability. Um, it just like you said, it was just a matter of when the time was going to come. Zach, with with Illinois losing last night, did you guys kind of keep tabs on that game and just with four games to go now, kind of a chance today to kind of put a stranglehold on that regular season, uh, you know, title? Yeah, we watched the game for sure, but I don't think it changed our mentality. Um, we were going to come in trying to win this game no matter what. Um, obviously, it gives us a boost kind of in that in the standings. Um, but end of the day, I think if they won or lost last game, we we're going to come out and play the same way. Um, Braden, so when you guys are moving the ball that way and you're getting good shot after good shot after good shot, how satisfying is that from a point guard's perspective? Yeah, no, it's really fun because um, I think that's my job in general when I came here um, is to just pass the rock around and get everybody's shots and get them in positions to be successful. So when everybody else is doing it, I mean, I think watching it, I mean, it's fun to, fun to watch. Um, and it's just super fun to be a part of because everybody touches it and then we hit a three in them and it's kind of demoralizing for the other team as well. Hey, hey Braden, um, talk about James Naismith, Naismith finalist, one of the greats of the game, and you're one of the finalists. What does that mean to you? Nothing. I'm not just saying that to say that. I mean, like, I'm, I just want to win, you know? I mean, I think that's what's on our mind after what happened last year, and that's our top goal, so. Brian, last one. Uh, Zach, um, kind of back to the free throws, you've made 19 in a row. Um, did you make any adjustment or anything you made, or um, any secret sauce there to making the free throws for the last couple games? No. Um, I've just got a lot of reps up the uh, last few weeks. I've been, I've been trying to get as many reps up as possible. Um, I knew I know what type of free throw shooter I am. I had confidence in myself. I knew once I kind of saw a few go down, um, it was all going to be smooth sailing, and that's kind of what happened. Zach, we didn't talk to you after the Ohio State game. Your leading all-time rebounds for Purdue, does that even register in your mind? Can you properly frame that yet? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's really cool. Uh, Purdue is kind of known as the big man university. And for me to have uh, the record in the big man stat is it's an honor. Um, but at the end of the day, we have to, I can, I can kind of reminisce in, in five years, 10 years when I'm, when I'm done. But it's just, I got to keep going. I got to uh, work on this. Thing. Like, the only thing I'm worried about right now is just winning at Ann Arbor. Thank you, guys. I'm going to get that record. <laughs> <laughs>